How you guys doing today is Lamar. Welcome to my channel. Happy New Year, guys. Um, as we go into 2023, um, we have a bright future ahead of us. We have bright times, a great year to start off. And to start off the year, um, we're leaving things in 2022. Basically, we're leaving uh, mundane fashion styles and fragrances. All right? So this video I have for you guys today is going to be items that we're leaving in 2022 that's going to be a bit mundane that we don't want to do anymore you know because we're on to the new and on to the next and um we're excited for 2023 so let's get it started the first item that i have for you guys today is gonna be i love this to death but the bum bag and not just the bum bag it's the way you wear the bum bag me i usually hold the bum bag in my hand like this like almost like a sling bag but if you're wearing the bum bag across your body um that doesn't really look fashionable anymore to me you know i feel like when you're wearing a bum bag to the side it looks like you you bought a bum bag that you're supposed to wear around your um around your hip or waist but you're wearing it across your body if you want to substitute that i will honestly wear just like a cross body bag Maybe like a Carhartt bag, crossbody bag, or Bottega or Dior um, saddle bag. Those bags are nice. You can wear across the body or to the side. But when you get the bum bag and you wear that across your body, that's kind of played out. We did that in like 2020, 2019, 2018. You know, let's leave that in 2022. In 2023, let's just go full blown crossbody, um, either the Bottega, Carhartt, whatever style that you can get, Supreme. Um, let's wear more of those and leave the bum bag across the body um, in 2022. You know, this is a Rick Owens bag. I love it to death. But uh, so, to substitute that, when I want to wear it, I just hold it in my hand like this um, and I just wear it, um, whatever style I have. And it still looks fashionable, but um, I'm not wearing it across my body anymore. I think that's played out and um, we're on to the next. All right. So that's the first item I have for you guys. The second item I have is going to be. Don't kill me for this is the plaid shirt um, and the plaid over shirt. I feel like is a little played out. You know, when you want to wear over shirt, just get a nice fabric, whether it's like a suede or a faux suede or like a, um, a mohair. But just to go with the plain plaid over shirt looks a bit mundane and boring. You'll wear this with like this shirt, a black T-shirt and black jeans and a pair of boots. That looks pretty corny. You know, you want to have a, your outfit to be um, stylish with structure and shape. So if you get a overshirt, make sure it has a little structure. Maybe it's boxy. Maybe the fabric is different. Maybe the color, just one standard color is different. Maybe like a bright orange or a pink or a yellow. But just make sure it's basic, but then it's not doing too much. Because this plaid overshirt just looks cheap. It looks played out. Um, I don't care what brand it is, you know, I'm not going to be wearing that in 2023 because I feel like it just looks old school, you know. Um, I will rather just tie this around my waist and wear like a black t-shirt and a nice pair of Izzy Miyake pants and boots than wear this as an overshirt over me because I feel like it's just like basic fashion and it's something that I'm over with, you know. So wearing just a plaid shirt um, by itself or like a white t-shirt, skinny jeans, and boots that style is gone do not do that anymore um if you are going to get an over shirt that is plaid make sure it has a little bit of structure to it either it's cropped or it has some fun applications to it or it has um just a different styling but just plain plaid over shirt basic button-up shirt is not a fly and not a go anymore so leave that please in 2022 for me do it for me all right all right and the other item I have for you guys, please do not upset, get upset with me. Um, I love this sweater to death. I do. I love the hoodies. I love the brand. But it's time to leave it in the past. And it's not fashionable anymore. And that item is the Essentials hoodie. And just before you get upset, let me just tell you, the Essential hoodie is still a go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wear this hoodie when I'm going out to like grocery shopping or running some errands or going to like the UPS store to ship something, but I'm not wearing this as a fashionable item anymore. 
Um, I go for the mainline fear of God, which has immaculate pieces, the same structure, the same shape, but it just doesn't have a big essentials across or from it. You know, um, I feel like this is more of that uh, street fashion wear, which is cool, but street fashion has grown so much. You know, you want to show your individuality, not just wearing a big sweater that says essentials across it. And then that's fashionable, you know, show some style, show, show some depth, you know, show some characteristic to your street style, you know, so you can wear the fear of God main line, which has is just minimal and basic clothing, but you style it in your own way. So I respect that more, you know, when it comes to being fashionable and wearing um, fashionable pieces for 2023, leave the essentials in the past, you know. And if you do wear it, you know, don't think that you're killing the game wearing it. Just wear it and just go about your day, you know. Just wear it. You're going to either check your family or you're going uh, for a run or you're going um, laundry mat, grocery store, you know, shopping, errands, but don't wear this to like the club or to a nice dinner date with your significant other because it's not going anymore. You know, I feel like you leave this for like the younger generation, let them wear it, let them style it. But as a, you know, someone as of the mature age, please wear the fear of God mainline. I feel like they have amazing pieces and you'll look good in it. You just have to style it in your own way. And that's what he intended. Jerry is a very stylish gentleman. And I feel like he intended it that way. You know, he wanted you to go up in the main line and style it in your own way. You know, the basic mundane clothing that they have, but then you style up and make it look immaculate like he does. All right. So leave the essentials in the past. All right. I want to see in the comments what you guys think of that for real. All right. Another item that I think you should leave in the past for sure is any designer fragrance brand. I don't care if it's Chanel, Dior, whatever brand you could think of, leave that in the pla um, in the past. Leave that in the past. Um, I feel like you got to go to the niche brands. There's so many niche brands out there nowadays that's affordable, like of the $200 range, $150 range, almost the same price as the designer brands. Um, so go for that more. I feel like those items have some more depth to it, have greater scent to it. Um, they have more characteristic to the scent. They have a better story prior to like the designer brands, you know, so um, definitely some brands you could think of as the Byredos, which is like the 180 range, the Lalabos, they're like 190, um, apart from Zamarli, they have some for like 230. Um, what else brand is of the niche that's affordable um, in the range? Like you could get like a travel size as well. You don't have to get a full bottle. Um, even a Tom Ford you can do. That's the only designer brand fragrance I probably would do still because um, they have their private collection that's really good. So I'll probably do that. But that's about it. You know, when it comes to fragrances, you want it to have a great look and style um, to go with your style as well. So wearing a designer brand is just like wearing a big designer logo all over as well. You know, you want something with a little bit more niche and different amongst the others all right so that's the video i have for you guys today tell me in the comments what you guys think what are you leaving in 2022 and bringing into 20 uh, leaving in 2022 and you're changing for 2023 let me know in the comments you know i'm definitely leaving a lot of styles i have to restructure my closet and my wardrobe but that's fine you know um the it on grilled you know because at the end of the day it's about your style it's subjective is what you like and what you want to wear. So um, definitely bring certain styles, but make sure you change it and evolve it as well. So um, hopefully this video helped you and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more. All right, peace.